Welcome back all my Dragon Ball Super fans here with Chris from CTJ the Saint Elites bringing you guys another deck profile video. Today I wanted to bring you guys a very, um, very odd deck that I uh, kind of been messing around with a little bit. It's, it's consistent to a sense, but it's really fun and um, you actually can catch some people off guard just because they don't really understand what you're playing. Uh, it uses the Android 21 leader as a pilot. Um, this leader has predominantly been blue and green. However, we made a spin on it to make this a very, uh, very low to the ground tricolor deck. Um, the uh, the issue with this deck, off before I even go into the deck, is actually the ratios. And um, you have to once you, if if your opponent can kind of figure out how you're charging and what you're what what you're doing, the deck becomes very predictable. But they actually have to figure that out before you do it. <laughs> um, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell for all the notifications. Um, that you can get just knowing whenever we post new content and uh, let me know if there's certain deck profiles you guys like to see us work on we are going to be making a patreon pretty soon um, nothing crazy but just a way for you guys to interact with the channel and uh, maybe picking battles or picking deck profiles or picking breakdowns of certain leaders or cards anything else like that um, but that's for the future so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the Android 21 leader so what this leader does uh, whenever you play this leader in your leader area you choose one Android 21 scheme from your deck and activate it so we do run that um, and activate once per uh, once per turn you can uh, you basically pop clone token uh, you can um, uh, put a one drop back into your opponent's hand. Uh, I believe this, this does not work for tokens uh, because tokens don't have any specific cost. Um, and then at the end, uh, basically at the start of your opponent's next main phase, you can choose one of your blue green multicolors and switch it to active mode. So you basically get a restand one. Um, uh, you waken at four life, which is where you draw two, and you have the same you have the same ability on this side as well. Um, you just pop a token, draw, and um, you can. Um, Restanded energy. Now, what's nice is that on your awaken turn, um, you want to use this ability first. Uh, pop a token, draw, and then uh, on this side, you can pop a token and draw because they are two different effects um, on basically uh, on on each side of the card. So you actually can restand up to two blue green multicolors if you on your awaken turn. So uh, we'll start with the the one card you should be running is the Android Twenty One Scheme. This is kind of what makes the deck very um, very annoying to deal with. Uh, so once per turn, whenever you or your opponent plays a non-token battle card, it can attack for the turn. Uh, so basically, the first battle card you play gets uh, basically gets summon sickness. You know, it can't it can't do anything. Um, you cannot play black battle cards in this deck, which kind of sucks because I thought Smoke Dragon would be a great card for this deck. Um, and at the start of your opponent's main phase, you play they get two uh, two clone tokens with 10k power that they do have the ability to swing with. So for the deck here. Um, I run three Android 18s, uh, Speedy Substitute. This card here is a good way for us to search out our the Android cards that we do run in the deck. It also allows us to have a little bit of a move my lighting here a little bit. Um, there we go. Uh, this card also allows us to um, to play blue green uh, from our hand and pull one from our energy, which we're not really going to be doing. We're really just using this for the searching ability. Also, because it is one drop, we can play this out instead of playing out other cards so that this card gets summoning sickness and our other cards can attack. Um, so the only blue-green cards we run in the deck are Android 21 and Bad Omen. Obviously, it kind of makes sense for, you know, to play these in this deck, but these are the only blue-green cards, well, maybe one more uh which we'll go over a little bit later but this is the only blue green card that we're going to charge um my idea is that you see this in your first two hands you play it and now you have your blue green that you are able to restand every turn uh we don't really need a lot of blue green we, we we put this in the deck obviously because this is a time bomb um as soon as we play this down we if our opponent ever gets to one life we can just play this card out and if they don't counter play it they lose um you play it out for you can play it out for five energy from your hand and then you uh drop one energy or you play it out for four from your energy and you drop an energy and you KO a battle card and you rip a, a life from your opponent. So we run three of those. Another Android that we run in the deck, uh, which is kind of the, 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 mid, the middle part of this deck is Android 18, uh, Never Ending Energy. I love this card. So um, I try to play this deck as an Android 17, 18 leader. So this card would basically become a two drop, draw two. However, that leader just doesn't have enough oomph to it, um, so I decided to go with this. 
but technically if we have a blue green down on the field this card is still a uh draw it's it's still a uh two drop draw two because we can restand a blue green energy um so basically this card comes down and you draw two and then it's a 20k body um the idea is to I, I will never charge this card um if i see it in my hand i will never charge it i'll charge something else because this is the big draw mechanic of this deck we can play this so basically we can draw a card we can uh uh, kill a token draw a card and then we can play this and draw two more so we're drawing a total of four cards on our turn um, this is great great value um, most of my hand sizes have been between um, like turn like turn three or four um, most of my hand sizes have been around uh, between the 10 and 12 card mark uh, because of this card it's just it's fantastic so we run it as a four also it helps us uh, to fulfill our blue requirement which we do need for the deck uh, 217 is turning the tides. This is the other, this is the last Android card that we run in the deck. Um, you play this card, you get to choose all the cards in your hand, in your opponent's hand, and all, all the battle cards in your opponent's drop area and shuffle them into their deck, and they don't draw any. Um, so if, for whatever reason, I comboed a lot and I'm getting close to the point where I may be losing, I can play this card out for seven. Uh, if my opponent has a bigger hand than me, we just shuffle both our hands back into the deck and now i have a seven you know a you know a seven drop crit on the board if i can't attack with it that turn that's great if i can't at least it's on the board um and i you know kind of ruined whatever plan they had going on um, and now they have to draw one card next turn and kind of start all over um four cents of bean uh this this it's really works in this deck we charge a lot of blue energy um uh with some other cards that i'll show you and it just helps us to be able to move our energy around and manipulate what energy we want to have up for whatever cards same thing with d magic we run four of uh negates and restands two so we run three combo attack coolers this is where the deck starts to take a turn and we run four tyrannical assaults so this here is the, the 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 middle of the deck here. This or this is kind of the the main attacking point of this deck. So what's really nice is that I can play. Um, let's say I arrival out cooler. Uh, I can I can neg two cards ten, make the mill card, and then I can activate battle, play this, to then recycle the cooler back into my hand. So this card now loses its summoning sickness. Now this card can attack and I can just continue to arrival these out on that same turn and I have a bunch of swings. Now obviously I would have to have all of them in my hand, but that's kind of the the, uh, the idea with the coolers that I can just continuously just keep recycling those cards um, kind of back and forth. Um, we run the four beers to restand red blue energy and also to give us a our super combo for arrival. And then we run four of the Mecha Frieza check lands. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, and so yeah, it's uh pretty strong. It's um, what's what's nice is that basically I can I have the ability to restand two forms of energy in the deck. So obviously this can be restood by this, and this can be restood by my leader effect. So that, that was kind of my idea is that I I can I, I'm never really tapped out. If I'm if, if I'm able to restand a blue green energy every turn, I at least have a blue I at least have an energy open for D Magic and Sensu Bean. Um Beerus just allows me to restand Mecha Frieza anyways on my opponent's turn. So I'm never tapped out. Um, so I have no problem with you know playing a blue green turn one using my ability if it's if it's you know the second turn i can pop i can pop a uh a token and then i restand that energy at the start of my opponent's turn and then turn to playing one of these and with with energy exhaust and then having a beerus or a d magic or a sense of being and i can just restand it um so i'm not too worried about it it's 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 worked so far um and it's it's uh it's pretty fun definitely pretty fun i can also play it out if i want to but i, I probably will never do that i'll probably just charge them all um so we do have to fulfill some red requirement in the deck, so we do run three of the Piccolos. Now this card allows me to self-awaken. Um, obviously with the tokens, sometimes you know a, a really smart player, they're not going to even swing with the tokens, or they're going to swing with all the tokens to try to aggro me down. It's going to be one of the two. 
Um, so if they swing with all the tokens, this card will never really be played out. I'll just maybe charge it um, or just use it for combo in my hand. But uh, if they don't, I can play this and I can use this as, for one, I can use it as a, uh, as a way to uh, self-awaken. And also, I can use it um, with this card uh, for, uh, for cooler arrival. Um, and obviously, if I have both of these in my hand, I play, I'll play this out first, play this out second, and then I can swing with this card. Um, seems to work pretty well so far. Um, not a, haven't had any trouble with not being able to swing with it. Even if I just play it, just having it on the field, I can I have a 5k card that I can combo with to go into arrivals. Um, for more blue, we have two boonie and two hit. Um, a boonie obviously is amazing. When you play a boonie, you if boonie is the first card you play, you can attack with the boonie, but you can attack with all three of the tokens because they are token cards. Um, and then you can also restand an energy with this card as well. So at a minimum, if I don't have a uh, you know Beerus or a Sensu Bean in my hand, I can restand two energy um, every turn. One with my leader ability, I can I can restand a blue green, and then with this card, I can if the top card of, their, of my opponent's deck is a battle card i can restand another energy another blue energy so blue red or blue green hit is just really good it gives the deck some sort of defense against big boss monsters when they play something that's five or less uh, i can counterplay it and push it back to their hand and the card doesn't get its play effect or um i can play it and then i can i can i can put a five drop back into their hand and then play it and then put another five drop back into their hand uh, it also is a 5k combo which is really good because a lot of the cards in this deck are 5k combos we want to be able to combo with anything in our hand that way when we go for game we have a lot of things we can use um so for the green part of the deck we run three of the uh the namekian technique piccolo so at first i was running um the uh urgent aid kami and i would put this card in the side deck if i were to take this to a tournament because i think it's still really good you play it for one you draw one and then if your opponent untaps an energy on their turn uh you can uh rip one of their energy from them um but it it never really came up in the matchups that i was playing um and i think i'd put in the side deck for sure but this card's great because this card comes out for free it helps me pop a token it's a 5k uh blocker as well and it gives me some green in the deck as well um two mischievous technique go tanks this is kind of a weird one so i run this card i will never really charge this card as i said green will never green as a solo color and red as a solo color should never be charged in this deck you should be charging red blue or the green blue uh bad omens what this card does this card allows you to pop a token uh and then um you could draw a card from it when you combo with it so it's nice so it's, obviously this is kind of an offensive one you can't you can't use this defensively which would be kind of broken if your opponent was able to swing the you know they swung with the token and they comboed a bunch you could just combo and then just pop a, pop that token but this is for you if you're trying to go for game um since our beer super combo doesn't let us draw this is sort of like a pseudo super combo we can play it pop a token draw and then maybe look for a card that we're look that we're needing for our big combo uh two piccolo simulated ability uh, another green card, another 5k combo as well. When this card comes on the field, uh, we actually don't even need to swing at this card. We can swing We can swing with our leader, and as long as we have a battle card on the field, this card gains bond, we can pop a 5 drop and draw. So it gives us more drawing power, gives us a card that doesn't need to be on the board to be able to swing. It, it, I mean, it, it's a card that doesn't, need, that doesn't need to swing to gain advantage. We basically just play it, and then we can just do whatever. Um, and the last card we run in the deck is Super Saiyan for Vegeta. Now this card, obviously you're gonna say, okay, well, why would you use this card if um, you, you know, you're not running blue-green super combos and it's uh, a cost of two green. So um, if for whatever reason I draw this card, um, I'm gonna be setting up basically to have to charge at least one green energy. Uh, after turn four, um, so basically turn one, turn two, I wanna charge my multicolors. Hopefully turn three, I can charge the a second red blue and then turn four or turn five, I will charge a green energy um, so I can use this. Um, or if I end up charging two bad omens, then I'm set. I don't have to really worry about it. Um, now, obviously for the summoning sickness portion of it, um, we have, you know, we can play this card out. We can play one of the other 
you know the other one drops out use a sensu bean to restand the energy and now we have five energy open uh, but this card when this card comes out i can pop a token and then this card gains the summoning sickness which then leaves this card open for attack um it, it's a it's an it's a weird niche strategy i you know don't know if i would ever take this to a tournament or not i would have to play it more uh and kind of mess around with the ratios but it's really fun um just to be able to just have this huge ability to draw and um if they don't have a if they don't have a good board wipe in their deck i can just swarm the board with a bunch of 20ks um and just be able to you know you know swing a ton um the other card that i was going to put into the deck that uh, i would have to find a way is the 100 uh, frieza i'd find a way to put this into the deck kind of the same idea it is a good game ender and also with this card if i let my opponent build up a ton of tokens I can play this and then uh, neg all of their tokens, basically kill all their tokens, and then they have to mill a card. They have to mill two cards per token that's killed, not even and not including their other battle cards. So it's a it's it, it's another card that it, it would be a one of in the deck. I just would have to find a way to fit it in there. Um, but yeah, I think this is really fun. I'll leave a deck listing down below so you guys can check it out in its entirety. Let me know what you guys think of this weird um, this weird laboratory like deck. Um, if it's good and if it's terrible, you know, give me your opinions. It's fine. Um, I'll still continue to play it just because it is really fun. But make sure you guys like and subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.